Okay, Eden Burning. The Pythorians have driven from been driven from the new world, but the consequences of their occupation is still felt. On an ancient island, the inhabitants enjoy the electricity provided by the oil power generator left by the Pythorians, but the delicate ecosystem is slowly being destroyed. The leader of the islanders, Yaska Rodriguez, has written to ask Isabel Sarmento for help. You play as Isabel Sar You play as Isabel Sarmento. Your task is to help the islanders generate electricity in a safer, greener way by building a hydroelectric dam. Challenge your skills by embarking on this colossal construction project while maintaining the island's ecological balance. Explore the ancient lands guarded by the Pythorian occupation and find a sustainable way to build your town and respond to the crisis caused by the collapsing ecosystem. Cheers, Hyena. Sargento cheese. Okay, so what is that? I get rewards. So completing the dam, we get that. So that's bronze. Silver is to complete the dam and keep the island health above eighty percent. Gold is complete dam, island health above eighty, and to complete it within a time as well. Okay, and we get some sort of reward from that. Maybe we get the builder tree thing from here. So we've also got tool tips that we can scroll through here. Dear Isabel, thanks to you, the Pythorians have been driven from our region, but their legacy remains. The generator they left behind, the generator we were forced to build during the Lothum occupa Lothum occupation is polluting our land. The generator land. they left behind, the generator we were forced to build during their Lothum occupation is polluting our land. My people depend on the electricity the generator provides, but it is killing our island. Our rivers are choked with filth. The smog-filled air drives the birds from the trees. Even the soil suffers a slow poisoning. But we have a plan, a hydroelectric dam. My people have the knowledge and skill, but we need your leadership to build a new sustainable town for the workers and help us complete the dam. With dearest wishes, Jauska Rodriguez. Yeah, I'm gonna guess the rewards are that and probably something else. I don't know though. I no longer hear the call of the Tinamu. Tamarins have fled the trees. The capuchin birds grow silent too. I hear only the lowing of the beast. It's belching and snorting and roaring. It sits astride the earth, its steel tendrils spewing out poison. This is where we will build the dam. A brutal solution, I know. One behemoth replacing another. But what choice do we have? My people cannot step back into darkness, nor can we continue to destroy our island. There's the plant of tree thing. My people are rooted in this land. Our ancestors dwelt here, built mighty cities. It was like an Inca. What do the ancestors think of us, knowing that we helped the Pythorians to do this to our home? Every day, our rivers fill with yet more waste. The trees struggle to bear their fruit. Fewer and fewer fish return to our shores. There is no time to waste, Isabel. With every moment, we edge closer to catastrophe. I pray we have not acted too late. Your voice was a bit quiet, I think, unfortunately. Eden burning, the dam. The dam, dam. Diddly dam, 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 dam. Right, let's just turn the voices up. Okay, so. Uh, 
very dramatic. I mean, yeah, what could go wrong with electricity in the 1800s and water? So let's actually have a look at this. So we start off on an island called La Extuna with $75,000. Here is the port. We made everything ready for you. Please establish a settlement for the workers as soon as you can. Yeah, 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 yeah. we will do. So there's no influence in this. It's just income balanced population. And victory conditions, complete the dam, complete it on that. And we need, if we want gold, we have two and a half hours to complete it. So the first thing we need to get is 150 Honolaro. Hey, Franklin. This is the new scenario that came free with game update 13 for the green jam. It's a scenario based in the new world with electricity and trying to balance ecosystems. So what have we got over here? Rocky shores here. Uh, soil impacted. It will take time and effort to remove the perforian debris, but we may be able to salvage valuable construction materials. Okay. So it takes 10 minutes and 150 honolero for doing that. And it is a negative six on soil. Okay. Negative eight, negative eight. Right, so we also have you this up here. You cannot do my job with soft hands, let me tell you that. Uh, streams going well. We're literally just looking at the cosmetic stuff, and now we're looking at the new scenario. So, island health is 86%, and that is equated from water soil health and oil he oil air health so we plus six negative five plus 24 the air and soil on the island. bases at 25 we, our measurements available to you. we get a plus 17 from this shoal which we've got a few of them why are some giving us plus two Why are the fish floating on top of the water? Uh, we've literally just started this second. Day. Uh, so we have leaking ruins that are negative. And there is the jail? What is that? Soil the barracks for the wretched souls who are forced to work on the generator. There's a note pinned to the door. Kandar souls. The flying fish of Altuna. The Zol tuna of flying tuna. How did that suddenly go into? Oh, hello. Daily duties. Honoleros deliver iron. And coal to the warehouses. Barrows transport valuables to the headquarter. What? Progress through industry purification through fire. Lovely. The headquarters? It must be located somewhere on the island. A place with access to the sea, certainly. Why is she talking to us from the bathroom? Okay, so that's the jailhouse. So what is over here? Dam phase stage one. Wait, what's that? Okay. We draw our electricity from this monster, like water from a poisoned well. Right, it's okay. So what's affecting Yowska's this? disgust for the generator is matched okay. only by her need for its power. Mm-hmm. 
So we have ruins that are contributing to the... So we want to get this up to this. We need to get rid of the ruins. We're going to have to get rid of the barracks at some point. I don't know what that is. Uh, air. We're getting a plus from, plus from forestation. Negative from the factory and the generators. And... Okay, so we just need to just build. Uh, buy it. Always buy the stuff, mate. The only time that Ubisoft have given me a code for games or DLCs, it's always been given away. I buy everything for the game. Uh, but this update is for free itself. The cosmetic DLC that we were showing off earlier, Franklin, that is four ninety nine. But this scenario is part of game update thirteen. How you doing, Liquid? Okay, so we're gonna need to get some Alberto up Ready and Holaro up. Do we have a new flagship? That has six slots. That's different. I... I... So we can go into the royal plating. So we can actually apply the skins here. <laughs> well, you're always welcome to chill in here and ask any questions while we're playing, mate. But we'll figure it out, and then we... Ooh. New items. What the hell is that? We'll be figuring it out slowly and surely, and then we'll be deep diving it and powering through it. So what have we got here, then? So, herbarium. Trend... Okay. What the hell is all this? Hold on. Control and T. Items. Unknown items. Right, so these are all the items in-game for the scenario that we can utilize. Okay, so they all are very bespoke to here. I'm not going to deep dive into each of these yet. We'll mess around with it and then we can have a look at the stats and stuff like that. Okay, so first things first, let's get up the Honolulu. So, construction. So, what the heck? Water purification requires harbor space. And generates water for one minute at the cost of 100 maintenance and 50 on a ladder. Construction cost is a negative one to water conditioning. But it's a plus that I don't understand that. And we'll figure out the actual stats later on. Okay, so we do actually have a numerical value here. So it's based on a 1,000 point scale. Uh, do we want housing? I don't know. We probably want housing. If we're looking at this technically, if we want to have the least impactfulness on the ecosystem, I don't want to build in the forests. I want to build where there's no forests. So I'm going to have to build over here. Otherwise, we're taking away from the natural ecosystem. Presuming. So... Let's get that down. Then let's get that down. Then let's get the... Marketplace down. 
Uh, let's just do that. Bacon bits. How you doing, Revenant? First class. I only have one ship at the moment, mate. How you doing, anyway, Evident? And how you doing, Sin? Coordinates plotted. Trees don't auto regrow. I wouldn't expect them to auto regrow in this scenario. That's why I'm presuming, Sin. I've been through worse. So we can't actually change the skin in this scenario. Can we go into first person mode? We can. Okay, I'm kind of tempted. Can I go into first person mode over here then? No. We do have a path that goes here to here to here. So, can I go into first person mode here? Bear with me, people. Um, I can't see where I'm going because the trees, the, the bushes is too thick. Maybe this is just their premise for building a Anno-based game of uh, Lord of the Rings, where everyone is a freaking hobbit and two foot tall. Okay, so, aha! I can get up here. It's not just that it's the... The bush is... Oh, that sounds very interesting. The bush is thick. It's the fact that it's so tall for a bush. I mean, industry is bad. Yes, yes. Industry is bad. Pollution is bad. But it does look pretty. For an Anno game. Can I go across here? Oh, that's glitchy as fuck. That is glitchy. I'm not going to go across that. Not yet. Oh, hello. Interesting. Well, that answers that question. Can we get up here and have an exploration around? Cinders around oil. Yeah, that's going to end well. Okay, we can't get down there. Uh, we can't get that way. Please don't fall down, please don't fall down, please don't fall down. Okay, I didn't fall down. We will look at construction and game mechanics once I've done exploring. I promise. We will get into the actual meat of the scenario. Well, there's an interesting looking island over there. I'm going to presume that other streamers and content creators have already gone off for an exploration and walk around here. Okay, so that's the construction materials for the pipes. Okay, so here is the what we're going to presume is the I know, I town center. That definitely I looks know. like Inca. All I can think about is the dam right now. You all right, mate? Can 
God damn it. Why are you picking a picture of Nate? What is that gurgling away? What the hell are they making? Giant peppers. Some sort of coffee beans. Yeah, I don't know what that is meant to be. <gasps> Peacock. Hate to put it, I don't think you're gonna grow much here, mate. Nice, Franklin, mate. Hopefully, you enjoy it, mate. Wait, you're trying to post paint over the posters? Okay, um, I want to go this way. Chapel. Mm, he begged me to forgive him. The dirty collaboration is the rat. What? Uh, yeah, I have all of them. I've not done some of the historical ones. Fourteen oh four and seven. I am Maya, eight. lead researcher at the institute. Hi. If you can gather any botanical knowledge in a herbarium. We can find a practical use for it. In a habarium? I may have some tasks for a resourceful leader like you. I'll let you know. Yeah, well, I'm 42. I just never really got into Anno. 1800 was the first Anno game I played. Okay, so there's the exploration done. Right. So, I probably should do something before I start destroying everything. Okay, so. Right, so they have different requirements. And I'll. Wait, a Honol Arrow is 20 people live in the house now? That's interesting. So they require a water pump. Plantains. They don't want fried plantains. They just want plantains. And they want fish as well. And they want a new classification of working clothes. And then... Oh, wow. Okay, we're getting into tools. We're getting into 1404 territory here. Okay, so let's just get some more houses down real quick. Right, so we have access to the water pump now. Hey, Ollie. Uh, this is part of the free update that they brought in with game update 13 today. It's a new scenario uh, based in the new world with a lot of eco balancing and uh ecological sorts of uh micromanaging like you have to manage the water the soil and the air it is just based off this one map so you don't have it hasn't got anything to do with any of your other saves per se it is its own standalone thing Hey, Surf. Uh, you, you, it's not connected to your, any of your other ones. It's just a scenario, Surf. Right, so... There. 
would actually work. So let's actually have a look at this water building. So this is... Somewhat like a regular building and a noria, but for public housing rather than water. So that has gone down, and that has actually given me... Doesn't seem to say it then, but that seems to have gone up. Then we need to get to 46 out of 50 to get plantains up and running next. Right, in that case, let's just build these here then. check can't change the skin okay so i can change this skin but only the default i can't actually change the actual thing to the different dlc stuff so we now have access to plantains and corn as well hey growler how are you doing mate okay so Requires fertility corn. Oh, I haven't even looked at what fertility we have on the island. Two clay, two iron, two... Wait, we have iron and coal over here? Hey, I know how you doing. Uh, what's new is this new scenario. The green jam stuff is its own standalone game mode or scenario, which is based in the new world. And it's based around limited resources, eco-balancing, and trying to switch out the power from oil to a more cleaner environment that is more self-sustainable. Um, it's its own thing. It's completely not connected to your other saves. It's just a scenario from the main menu. You don't transfer to here from another map. It's its own thing. Where are the waterfalls in the mountain coming from? Uh, geothermal pre pressure mate building up that's forcing the natural cold undercurrents up through the mountains. And it's overflowing. Uh, yeah. If you believe that bullcrap, you'll believe anything, mate. So, plantains, soil impact. This building has an effect on your soil. Check the eco balance overview for a summary of negative and positive influences on the ecosystem. Right, so does it have a positive or a negative? Negative. Corn is negative as well. Oh, I am sure you'll find a way of being able to play it, mate. Right, let's just run that line up here. Then, uh, what the heck is this circle for? It's not. It's just science, Growler. It's just science. Um, I don't. What is this? What is this circle? Circle alive. Right, hold on. What are we at now? We're at 789 and negative 5. I filled that. You should go sit in the shade, boss. Okay, so the plots required are reduced. 789. Plantains is a negative. Uh, hold on. If I build that to there, 15. Can I still do stats? Okay, so we're at 50. Okay, we're still at negative that. Wait, do I have to fully go into this? Or can I partially do this? Yeah, let me check. Ah, 
I'm sure there is going to be someone that's going to be working at trying to bring it into the base version of the game. I am sure they are. Right, so that is actually giving me enough plantains. And that's at negative zero still. If I go to full on that, Okay, that's not having much of a difference. So what do we need the corn for? Okay, we've got loads of fish shoals here. Right, um, oh, I need to, oh, we're out of wood, damn. Uh, well, technically, I should be able to plant this over here, right? This shouldn't have an effect on the ecosystem because it's just trees, right? Okay, we're at plus 29 still. Um... Right, so that's going to bring the wood in. Biofuel? Uh, hmm. Would they have... Would they even have had concepts of biofuel in the 1800s? Right, so we should be bringing wood in now. So what else have we got here? We have no happiness now, actually. We have no happiness. Fish is at critical. Okay. So a fishery requires a free harbour. Fishing every minute on an island. What's that mean? Uh, can we do working conditions? Oh, we have no form of working conditions here. Hey, Cosmim. Yeah, I know they use wood rather than oil, but we're talking more about, like, ethanol. Well, they have ethanol, actually. But they wouldn't have used ethanol for fuel. So we're talking about corn. So... Mm, I mean, theoretically, it's possible. I've done my job Whether they would have actually have had the biometrical science to be able now. to utilize it. You want me to send the ship out? Yeah, we can go send it out. Still waiting for it to arrive. Okay, luckily, we've been running in fairly slow mode. So let's put that back up to normal speed. Right, you. you rely on us. There's something here. So, if you're saying there's stuff hidden in the we'll fog of war... We'll need technical knowledge for this project. Please provide them with accommodation. Yes, thank you. And then, you can... If the fishermen are to be believed... There are many curiosities beyond our island. Perhaps you will find something useful out there. Just remember, the dam is our priority. Okay, there's a cave hit there. So I suppose I can go for a first person walk here. Nope. Hey, Schnitzel. How you doing? I'm not seeing anything on Hi. this island. Ooh. What's this? Is there a child locked up in the uh, cave with a balloon? 
No, and I don't see we Han Solo. Flee. Those vile Parforians couldn't even let this monkey out of its cage. Again, why the heck is she speaking in that ghostly voice? There is another entrance to the cave system around the back. Oh, she's me. So this is how my voice is, echoey. Oh, yeah, why does it have to be echoey? Are you trying to say, shouldn't it that my head is empty? That's why it's echoey. Wow, harsh, mate. Ready the ropes? Exactly. Cheers, Growler. The little one still seems to know its way. Stations. So what did we get from they that left then? This for me? What? I was bananas. Something for the settlement. Huh. Food. No doubt Steady that the one course. was destined for the animal trade. So we just rescued that person, an animal from the animal trade, and we got bananas as a reward. You can okay, rely next on island. Us. Let's go for the whatever the Archibald named that in the other game. Something arches. Victory arches, was it? Or something like that? Coordinates plotted. Uh, doesn't look like we're going to get anything from there. Steady her course. So I have to ask the question then. Is the islands around here static or do they get randomized? What was that message? Something was up here. Right, I want to clear that out before we're about to hit a negative impact here big time. Okay, nothing here, as far as I can tell. Let's just double check to make sure there's nothing in this corner. Where are we west here? If we reach the top, the world will follow. We trust you. So, I have a quest. Go find the dolphin pod. I... Uh, Alright, let's get you over here then. The soil eco quality has gone into negative. That is not good. Let's get some more people out so we can try and get rid of some of these. Uh, oh, that's water. Please, Isabel, waste no time in establishing the settlement. Polluting Pythorian ruins. Right, so we need to make sure we clear the right ones. There are different ones then. So that's, yeah, that's land. That's water. That's wind. Okay. Stations. Um, what do you want me to do while I'm here? Find the dolphin and collect them. Steady her course. Oh, 
Coordinates plotted. How do I collect it? You just want me to insp I'm here. Make sail. Done. Um. Keep don't seem constant. to be able to ins inspect it. The latest soil samples are beginning to concern me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But how Bring do we first class. get that up? Left click first. I'm left clicking on it, mate. You're faster than oh. the old Honolero. First class. You have to deselect your ship and then click on it. Make sail. Because I had the ship selected, it didn't do it. Right, so build Obero. We survive. But I can't do that until we get up to twenty residents. K. Okay. That's fine. Right, so I just cleared those out. So I don't get those people back. So the actual people are spent into maintaining it then. It's not you do it and you get the people back. People are a actual value base. Like you have to maintain it. Uh, no, I can't upgrade them yet. I need to get to 20. They go up to 20 now for the Honoleros, not 10. Ah, it's still doing stuff here. Oh, it was this one over here, wasn't it? Done. That one. Uh... Even children were put to work here. Each night they returned okay, to the so village with a little built... less light. I was looking at eyes. that one. Right. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. The soil yields so little now. We must do something to restore it. Okay. Decide how to restore the health of the soil. Okay. Over exploration, exploitation of the soil has left it lacking many nutrients. Uh, we'll use workers to bring animal manure to the fields. Manure management effect. Workforce needed in the area is 20%. It's okay. Okay, crop productivity would actually go up as well by 10%. Uh, use rotten fruit or just let it be as it is. So you could, okay. Well, we'll just a go for that. Sustainable solution. Yes, a sustainable solution. One. Yeah, the one to the left. Yeah, saw that later on, mate. Okay, so I have got the people back. Okay, let's have a look. That's what I really need to get the land replaced. That's wind. That's land. Well, let me clear that. Stations. Drop those plantains off and go explore over here then. Right, so you're about to be ready. Done. So we've gone to a balance. For a time. The oil never truly washes off. 
So what did we get as a reward then? Did we get anything? Okay, Joe. Um, I don't think this is going to be a long-term thing. It's going to be more challenging, so you have to restart it and keep trying it. It's a... If you want the gold reward, you have to complete the scenario within two and a half hours. But there are some, like, rewards for doing it. Depending on what grade you get to. What the heck was that? Profile level two. I got 12 imaginary influence points. Yeah, it's completely independent, growl mate. Right, so that one there is getting upgraded. You can rely on us. Yeah, it's not only a short term sort of thing, it's not like you be spending hundreds of hours on it. There might be some Keep her constant reasons to do it. I can't find something something up there. Something nautical. Coordinates plotted. Maybe there will be reasons for your other save to do this. We don't know. Look at this beautiful place strewn with perforian debris. Alright, let's improve the water. Wait. Should probably go back to fishing, probably, rather than just staring at the water lilies. Right, you, Hi. over here, is there anything here? However, it's the Green Jam DLC. Ah, clean constant. fishing nets. So is that going to be fish? So it clearly isn't something that's very obvious on the islands. You have to actually physically look for them. A turtle trapped in the nets. It barely has the strength to struggle any longer. I ought to take it somewhere safe. Steady her course. Um, what can you do here? It is a completely standalone scenario based in the new world where you are dealing with limited ecosystems and limited resources and you're trying to balance out the ecosystems and repair and get rid of the oil works and refine the dam for hydroelectricity to provide electricity to the new world there are some rewards depending on what grade of how well you do the scenario what those are we don't know yet So it's just a standalone scenario with some rewards that's very challenging. You've returned. Did you find a poor creature? Some of my people may be able to help. I will let you know if the turtle mm, recovers. Unless there's some form of rewards that help with that, I don't know. I'm not seeing anything else on that island then. Anything here? Right, so was there anything over here on this island? We found something, the clean nets over here. Was it clean that we had to clean the fishing nets to get the turtle back? Um, is there anything over Done. here? Doesn't look like it, but it's only just come out today, so we're all just learning and figuring stuff out. The has made the most remarkable recovery. It's been swimming in the Chulton and eating the algae in the water, too. Oh. So does that mean it's actually helping for the ecosystem? Yeah. The turtle is actually helping with the actual ecosystem. More scrap. 
Welcome back. There's no corner of these lands untainted by the Perforians. Okay, so the ecosystem should be going back up. So that's cool. Right, so is there something over here? Yes, we have a pile of debris. Keep her constant. Keep her straight. So we found something on that island, that island, and there's something here as well that you need to pick up. This island here is just a Kickstarter to get you up on resources. I still have a few stories how it used to be better. Right, we have run out of fish, so... so good to see you. Let's get down the fish farm here, then. Do I have to build it? No, we just have to build it with that facing it. Ready the ropes. All right, so we have electrical cable, steel beams, and a message in the bottle. Dear Manuel, Mama says you live under the sea now. I miss you every day. Papa always cries now, and Mama is so angry. I'm scared. I want to live under the sea with you. Okay. Isabel's a bit uh, concerned. Steady her course. Maybe we should bring that back. Manuel. When my people agreed to work with you, they at least expected basic protective equipment. Okay, so decide how to deal with the recurring work injuries. Our people are lacking key safety equipment. Um, so, okay. Do you have a time limit on that? Yeah, I got a minute and a half. Um, I can't actually do that. I can't do that. So to do that quest, I'd need to get the cow chuck up or the actual whatever that is. Fire prevention. Is that something I can buy? Can I buy something from somewhere? Gathering knowledge in libraries is a venerable Mesoan tradition. Though ours has rapidly become a modern research institute. It's where we developed the design for the dam. I hmm. would appreciate your help. You honor us again. Sell to that harbor. Okay, so I can actually... Right, hold on. Get over here ASAP. Okay, I'm not going to be able to do that. Right, I'm going to have to figure out what... Really? So soon? Um, I can't do anything. Making my people work without protection? I thought such things had ended with the years of fire. Yeah, but I couldn't do anything with that. So what we've learned is we can't go and start that quest until we actually have the fire prevention tool or cowchuck. Frigate first class. So we need to deliver that here. So let's drop that off. So I'm presuming there is a specific rotation of where you need to send your ship to. Okay, so the fish should be going up. So next, we need work clothes, which is cattle and alpacas. And it is 30... 50, 60. So I need an extra 60. Okay, that shouldn't be a problem. Right, let's start clearing out more of these. Okay. So if we just do the farm here. 
still don't understand what why do that you? has a circle. Oh, we could do corn for the actual silos. Oh. So is that the area effect that this building would do that so we could feed into that? What was that? Polyculture effect. Placing different types of farms close to one another generates a polycultural effect, which has a positive impact on the soil quality. Oh. Uh, so now the plantains are giving plus four. Interesting. Okay. Let's get a warehouse up. The land has to be prepared. Yeah. Okay. Let's just get the corn up here then. Okay. So we should be able to do yeah, a wooden silo here. Let's have a look. The cattle farm pastures aren't too big, that's fine. So they're up to six here. My FPS. In this scenario, the game isn't particularly well optimized, mate. The game is never well optimized. I'm getting around somewhere from the 30s to 50s on a uh, 3080 Ti. But it is heavily uh, CPU bound, this game as well. And it is a not particularly optimized client. Uh. Yeah, it's a very, very CPU-bound game. Because of the uh, calculations it has to do. It depends on your drivers and also how big your population is. If I went on to a regular normal game on about 100,000 population, I would be getting about 100, 100 and something frames per second. Um, also, if you have NVIDIA, make sure you have the NVIDIA overlay turned off. There is a huge GPU usage leak on the game at the moment with the current drivers. So, if you have the NVIDIA overlay enabled, just go into GeForce and then enter settings. And then make sure that the in-game overlay is disabled. Right, so we have cattle up. I mean, we don't have any ornaments here we could put down. Not that I'm really interested in that, but I'm just curious. The next thing as well is we need an alpaca. I mean, the, the latest driver is alright for me at the moment, but it's only workable by making sure the NVIDIA overlay is disabled at the moment. Otherwise, its performance is absolutely dog-awful. <laughs> 